Medieval sightings of dinosaurs. In medieval France, the city of Nerlik was renamed in honor of the killing of a dragon there. This animal was bigger than an ox, had long, sharp, pointed horns on its head. Triceratops is one example of such, many such dinosaurs that had horns on their heads like Ceratosaurus, etc. So he described almost to a T a Triceratops. In Ireland, around 900 AD, a writer recorded an encounter with a large beast with iron nails. He considered them to be iron nails on his tail that pointed backward. They were not made of iron, but they certainly were sharp and rigid. Its head was shaped a bit like that of a horse, and it had thick legs with strong claws. These details match features of dinosaurs like Kentrosaurus and Stegosaurus. Old Chinese books tell of a family that kept dragons and raised the babies. It is said that in those days, Chinese kings used dragons for pulling royal chariots on special occasions. Living dinosaurs. Okay, now that's in the past. What about dinosaurs alive today? Author Dave Wetzel reports in this book that I recommend that in November 1980, the magazine Science 80 featured an article titled Living Dinosaurs. In the swampy jungles of Western Africa, reports persist of an elephant-sized creature with smooth brownish gray skin, a long flexible neck, a very long tail as powerful as a crocodile's tail, and three clawed feet the size of frying pans. Hmm. After a recent expedition there, two American researchers from University of Chicago conclude that these stories refer to a real animal, not a myth. Fantastic as it seems, Roy Mackle, University of Chicago and, Chicago and James Powell believe that this creature called Machelium bimbi by the natives may actually be a dinosaur, perhaps one resembling Brontosaurus. He uses Brontosaurus generically, which is thought to have died over 70 million years ago. So dinosaurs are still around. 